Holy, holy cow, I think I got a holy mother, mama mia. I hope y'all are doing all right out there. I am finally Jeebus. So if nobody shows up, I totally understand. This was way more trouble than I generally have to get a stupid live stream up and running. But love ya. It's good stuff. Oh. I don't even have everything running yet. I, I, I started off, I was like, oh, OBS doesn't work. Let me try Streamlabs. Streamlabs worked and then stopped working. So let me try OBS. All I want to do is zoom, 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 with a boom, boom. Just shake your butt. Holy cow. Got a new mic. I like my new mic. Hope it's not too noisy. I'm trying to find my thing so I can watch my... Make sure my stream doesn't blow up on me. Because I had drop frames. I had no audio, I had all audio, I had a loop back. Holla holla. That is nuts. Not what I wanted to see. And now I can't find where I am to see what I see when I do what I do when I do what I do. Actually works. I hope there's not that much static on here, and I hope that's just my thing in my jogger. But now I can see chat. I can see everything. All right. That is what I needed. I want some live chat. Cool. 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 Well, if you join, say hi in chat. A bit of a compressor. How's that? Yeah? Does that work or not? Yep, yep, that works. I like it. I like it a lot. I want a slight... Slight echo. Nostalgia echo. Does that work? Nostalgia, Nostalgia, Nostalgia echo. echo. Nostalgia echo. I do not like that at all. I do not like that at all. That is not what I wanted. Uh, let's go with a vintage delay. Analog dub. Dub 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 dub. Put a little reverb on it. I like that. I like that. Like that. All right, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, let's try something else. All I want is a slight delay. I don't want a looper. I don't want da 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 da. Reverb. That's the word I'm looking for. Awesome. Do I want church reverb? It'll take me to church. Spacious. Maybe. Hey. -o. I like it. I like that vibe. Actually. Take that out, that out, that out, that out. There we go. That's good enough. Good enough. Whoa. We're going to duplicate this. That's my click track, if you're wondering.
easy enough.
and chat. I'm learning Ableton. So yeah, that's, that's annoying, like truly, truly, truly annoying. I have no idea what that is, like no freaking clue at all. It's, there's an echo, well I, I know which channel, it's this channel, number five, because uh, that's why I was trying. So I turn the channel off. I can play on it, no problem. I might just end up doing... Then 
Anyway, what's been going on? The weather finally broke today, so I'm hoping, hoping I can go and fly maybe tomorrow. Today was nice. I'm about to open the windows in half an hour. That's how happy I am about it. funny I um I started ordering more from Amazon because they were they were uh what's the word what is that oh yeah I started ordering more from Amazon because they do free returns and that makes a huge difference <laughs> don't forget it records always on what my noise was. I'm sitting here looking for reverb problems. I'm like, what in the world? 
<laughs> I do like gray state quads. I bought my last uh, my last good charger from there. Uh, M8. Actually, it's the last charger I bought because everyone keeps giving me chargers now. It's really weird. Returns for credit. Yeah, see, that's the thing too. I, I, I swear I will almost pay more now just for the safety of being able to return stuff. RDQ would re refund. They're they're good about everything. Um, even Banggood's good about it. It's just takes forever. Do that. I'm rushing. Dude, just call newbie drone RDQ. has been giving me problems like crazy lately. Wrong screen. There we are. Oh, cause I'm on, for some reason it's not resizing my monitor, right? Sorry about that. That's what we got on newbie. One. Oh, so get this. I have a, I, I have a 28 volt, four amp hour lawnmower, 
and I know it sounds weird, but it's a 7S lawnmower. It runs on 18650s, and the batteries just started not crapping out on me, but not, um, like they, they used to give me a good hour and a half, and now they're down to about an hour or 10, maybe like 50 minutes if the grass is dry. And um, I was going to replace it with some lithium polymer. Oh, nice. A phantom clone. Why is a random? What would be in a random mystery box that would make me want to do that? Uh, B brain flight controller plus camera sets. Thirty six bucks. See, it's so funny. I was literally thinking today. I haven't flown all summer except for like maybe once. And I was getting kind of mm, a little beat down. Look at this thing. 36 bucks. That's what they normally charge for a decent camera and VTX. And it's a 3.4 free sky. Interesting. With the new newbie drone DVR model. I didn't know they came out with that. What's in a mystery box? No idea. Sorry, my chat's over here. It's a B brain two twenty dollar. Do it, do it. Complete build. In this mystery box, brushed, brushless. What's DSM brushed? I don't even know. Five inch editions ninety. Oh. So you're saying for $27, I would get a brushless quad? Is that what you're hinting? Oh, out of stock. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Uh oh, not sold out. DSM brushed. Huh. Interest. big white screen on the side. Uh, you bought two, it's DSMX. Oh, I can't do DSMX. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's the only one left. Ding, ding, middle of darn it. Sweet deals. Cheapest DSM in the world. I don't know why. That's weird. If, if I'd known it was an $18 quad, man, shoot. I bought that a long time ago. Low Motors Crazy Deal 2450. That's not that. Oh, is it eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this eight? Eight. 2306.5. All right, all right. I can live with that. I can live with that. Yep. Chat publicly, they have $40 new version Hummingbird V1 Mockingbird. See, it's so funny. Some things in FPV have gotten to be so pricey. And then other things like this, it's almost like a giveaway. It's so weird. But they have one time, one use disposable three ply masks. Please wear a mask if you go out. I lost my friend's father and my friend's mother and my co-worker's mother and my co-worker all lost to not wearing a mask so please please or someone didn't wear a mask around them what is this tx8 hummingbird a four inch mystery prop box five inch mystery box what's in these oh a pot full of four inch props 
Oh, that's cool. That's one way to get rid of old inventory. No mask. I don't know what that's in reference to, but okay. I find it funny these became so popular with the FPV crowd so fast. $200. I guess that is cheaper than a GoPro and the footage looks great. Makes you look like you fly like you know what you're doing. Cinnabird frame kit. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Buddy, what is that? Oh, that's the same thing. Okay. Just pops it on the front. Because the place I want to put my camera is at the front of my quad. New. Maybe. That's weird. Only have five minute record time. They might. I would believe that. I'd also call it stupid if it's true, but I would believe it. 61R, cockroach, a mic adapter. Haha! -ha. I'm sick of it, don't get me wrong, I'm very sick of it. Um, seasonal fires, yeah. So a 1R, a so an Insta360 has a 5 minute record time, that's I don't like something if I can't get like an hour and a half. But yeah, so I have a, uh, my lawnmower of all things needs a 7S, 4 amp hour battery of some form. So if you know where I can get a 7S, 4, at least 4 amp hours, I could go bigger if I can find smaller batteries or the same size. It's got right now 14, 18, 650 cells tied to a battery controller so if you see any either 3 or 4s 4 amp hour batteries that would be great it's true it's tiny a minute or two before they update it oh that's crazy why why would they have something that only films five minutes at a time Uh, James, uh, I don't want to get into anything charged like that. I can tell you I have six friends that have died from it, and before this year I've had zero friends that died of a cold, so, yeah. It can go on a loop. That's cool. Yeah, I, I don't see why you would have a five minute camera, except for FPV, honestly. What else we got? Analog, digital, cinematic. New, 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 new. Ooh. Okay, I have to say, I love, I love my split, my run cam split. And they're now 62 bucks, so that's good, 63. So the 1R, I'm assuming, is the better version. Air unit. <laughs> uh, I 
don't know. Ooh, Cadix Loris is now $71. Does anyone ever really put up 4K footage, though? I'll be honest, I haven't seen any of it. I also haven't seen any of uh, Kim. Kim's reviews lately. He doesn't pop up on my feed now that you mention it. Downloads become newbie labs, support, team pilots, blog store. What do we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? VTX? No. Frames? No. Whoop size, batteries. I could do a 5S and a 2S. I could do 3S. Oh, right. Those are all small. Stinger Swarm. All right, I will check him out. I haven't seen his page in a while either. Actually, a lot of my FPV people don't show up, so I have to go back through and reorder my subscriptions. Uh, change Agent, welcome. And <laughs> I had two lipos rupture on me this year. And that's actually what's made me kind of not fly as much this year because uh, that stuff is not what you want to see. Um, mine luckily were ruptured after landing and before I stuck them back on the charger. All it did was puff out some stuff. And um, it, was, it, was, it was not what I wanted to see. Let me put it to you that way. This does 1080 at 120. Sweet. Oh, no, I haven't had to do the emergency toss out. Mine, I found ruptured uh, way after the fact when I couldn't get it to charge. Um, my charger kept reading it as a 1S and it was supposed to be 2. And that's honestly why I went to, um, I don't fly 4S that often anymore and why I went mostly 2S because at least if those go up, it's not that bad. Still bad, just not that bad. Not like, say, a 4S that just keeps keeps on puffing out smoke. Metal bucket, yeah. yeah. I'm always worried about charging in metal because I'm afraid it'll short at some point and I'll cause the problem that I'm trying to not cause. What we got here? You know, I haven't been FPV shopping in months. Since the last time we did, so let's see what else we got. GH. GH. That company needs a new name. But yeah, I, 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 I normally charge with it sitting like two feet away from me. Just because I don't want to deal. I, I, that stuff's scary. Ooh. Sorry, I like this company a lot. I think I noticed I didn't do that. white vapor yep so I had that I also had um I picked up my cell phone one day and the bot back kept popping off and <laughs> the battery itself had puffed up um, I was an LG I think yeah no it was a Samsung S4 but it popped the back off and I'm glad it was a removable battery because it was just and it looked like it was it was going to keep going what I wanted to deal with. Not at all. Can't believe they have a dual gyro F7 board for 26 bucks now. Storage charge. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you got more than storage, holy cow. 
That's the thing, it's so different between like 3.5 volts and 4.2 whenever they rupture. Because 3.5 doesn't do anything, but 4.2, <laughs> that is fun. Have they started doing coupons yet? I had to drop my bang good person, like they were not cool. So I'm hoping for a new one. Puff till the back popped out, yep. That is exactly how it is. Um, then I had a, I bought a new 4S battery, like a 4S 850. And I kept noticing after I'd fly that the, it, it felt puffy, but not the outside cells. And it turns out like cell two was puffed and it was being held together by the shrink wrap. So as soon as I took the shrink wrap off, the whole thing just popped apart. Um, now I would say don't buy cheap batteries, but that was actually an expensive battery. One of my few ever, uh, uh, what do you call them? Those things, those batteries, what are they called? Totally forgot the name of them, but everyone uses them. Oh, well, whatever it is. Tattoo. Here we come, the R line. It's like, ooh, I got an R line. <laughs> Not anymore. Ooh. I gotta get it. Like, I. Emacs drives me crazy. They make good stuff, but every time I order it, it's not good. Tattoo, yep. Which some people say tattoo are the cheap batteries, but they aren't to me. Like to me, this is the cheap battery. These, these are cheap batteries. And the funny thing is, my Zop batteries, all but one work after three years. <laughs> one of them doesn't work. Oh, see? Primo. And see, G and B is the other one that I've, it just dies. Like mine, luckily it didn't puff, but it, um, when you went to charge it, it just took forever. And then when you went to discharge it, it would hit. 3.2 volts in about a minute and a half. Oh boy, I wonder if they have a 7S. Do they have a 7S or two? Dang, that's expensive. See, that's the thing. I need, I need four amp hours and 28 volts, so 7S. And I didn't want to spend that much, but I don't think I can get a cheaper version. It's worth doing anyway. One month old, man, that sucks. I hate when new batteries go out like that. That really hurts. Like it just hurts my soul. Does that do anything? Oh, it does. That's weird. That's a very monotonous tone. Okay, I don't like that. Uh, I'm going back in. <laughs> uh, 14. But yeah, these batteries, they're, they're super cheap and they're not great, but for some reason, like, I abuse the heck out of mine and they still freaking work. And I'm seeing now they're not as cheap as they used to be because that battery used to be eight, eight to 12 bucks. Where do you buy batteries? Yeah, it's probably random, random bad sell. Actually, it, it might just have been a, I don't know, you, if you abuse it one time. Some, some batteries, you can abuse the heck out of them. Some of them, you mess up once and they just, it's like your mother-in-law. One time. Where do you buy batteries? I need batteries. Amp 
how? Is that the name of the page? If this takes me to porn, I'm getting in trouble. And what happened to Stu? I haven't seen him in a while. GMB, RDQ, Ovonix. Night Train, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. I haven't seen anybody in a while. Um, I'm mainly looking, like I say, I need 7S in a large capacity. So yeah, six. As large as I can get. And I still don't know what two of the leads on the batteries for, but I could probably figure it out. It seemed really easy, it's for my lawnmower. <laughs> Which I have to say is like the best freaking lawnmower ever. Um, and I thought about just replacing the 18650 cells, but that's a lot of work too. 850, 14, 4. For a lawnmower, yep. It is a... You'll laugh when you see it. It's called the thumb and the eye maneuver. Oh, by the way, if you haven't had a chance, um, check out Cobra Kai. Uh, that TV show, that is, or it's, it was a YouTube show, now it's a Netflix show. Oh my God, it is so freaking good. Um, I absolutely love it. Like, it is so good. I just watched, I watched two seasons over three days and I don't watch TV that much. Here it is. This is it. Yep, this is the one. 28 volt, 5 amp hour. This is the, if you have a small yard, so just so you know, like, this is not paid advertisement, although it should be. If you have a small yard, this lawnmower weighs 13, 13 or 14 pounds. It pushes easier than an average shopping cart. It works amazingly well to where it's just the best freaking lawnmower ever. The only thing, it has a 14 inch blade, so it's small, but my yard's small. Um, but it is, this is the best freaking lawnmower because you can turn it on. It has two speeds um, and it automatically kicks in the high, goes back into low. And it's, it, that's all it is. Like, do you see that tiny little thing? Like, it's, it's just a bubble. And you take off the cover and inside it has a 5 amp hour, uh, 14, 14, um, 18, 650 cells to make 5 amp hour 7S battery going to an ESC sitting above a brushless motor that spins a tiny blade. 14 pounds, you, 100 degree weather and you still won't break a sweat. It's like the best thing ever. Oh, see, you, you got it, yep. I'm souping up my motor. It's, it's so much easier, that's the thing. It's so much e you don't have to, no oil, no gas, no problems, you just you push the button. Like, I just have to remember to charge it. I wanted to get the corded one, but my wife is the one who mows a lot of times too, because it's so freaking easy. Um, like, you, you just charge it and go. Like, it's the best thing ever, zero maintenance. I've had it three years now, I paid 120 bucks for a battery operated mower. And now they're like 200 for the same one, 188, which drives me crazy. And I'm just, I'm afraid the battery itself's going bad. So yeah, I'm thinking I might just replace the 18650 cells or I might take out the battery pack and put in a lithium ion because that's what I know. That's the best thing ever. Like I'd never get excited about a mower. It's just so sweet. Like dude, just do, 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 do. It's the lightest freaking mower I've ever seen. Just take off the bag. I don't even use the bag anymore. I just, I walk slowly and it mulches. Yep, so I, that, I would have gotten the cordless, plus the, the corded one, I'm sorry, yeah, the corded one is, um, oh, what's the corded one? The corded one is like $90, I think. It's, it's a lot cheaper. I would have gotten it, but like I say, my wife likes likes not having a cord. Yeah, this one, 169. 
Oh, it's the 20 inch. That's a huge one to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like the best freaking thing ever. Uh, James, I actually thought about putting um, like an RC setup on it. I'm not kidding because it is so light. Like I really think you can get away with some small uh, RC motors. Uh, just put them on the front tires. I, I think you could get away with actually doing that. I really do. It's so because it, it weighs like 10 pounds, so about 13. Um, it doesn't even vibrate that much. Like it is so nice. I have a, I have less than I have a quarter acre or something like that, or like right a fifth of an acre. It might be a fifth, not a quarter. Um, and see, so that's the thing. So I mowed yesterday, and I had to recharge because the grass was wet. And I thought my battery was dying. So today I took it all apart. And it ended up being, um, at least right now, I sharpened the blade and then I was able to redo everything without a problem. So it might have just been, been a, a dull blade. What were you thinking, James? Pop it on me here, lay it on me. Thinking I need a new beat. Can you tell I was one of those annoying kids in the store? I can't tell if that one just has distortion or what. There we go. But yeah, anyway. FPV lawnmower. Just slap a camera on the front. Get a couple of RC motors. Like, I could probably... I could probably use one of these. Something like an 1812 or a 2212 even. I could probably use one of these. I mean, it's seriously, it's so freaking light. If I did four of them, skid steering. <laughs> um, you could do it like tank, tank steering, you know, where you, you just go up. You'd have to have a reversible ESC, no problem. But you go up and then, you know, do the, do the four-way, four-wheel steering. I think it's a good idea. I really think it's a good idea, kind of. The more I think about it, the more I think if I replace it, I'm going to, I might do it as like an 8 or 9S, make it a little bit more powerful, make it throw the blade out the top. Actually, I, I was going to update get an 8S, but I didn't know what the ESC was rated for. And that's the thing too, so yesterday it was 100 degrees almost, or it was 90 something, 92, and it, um, it was 90 something degrees, and it ended up, uh, it has a heat cut off. So I overheated it and I thought I died it. I'm gonna name my quad Weed Whacker. That's how I fly, you know, right down the bottom. Oh, they're remote lawnmowers already. Let's see what they look like. Cause I, I mean, like, I really could. I'd, I would just take the back handle off, so that'd save me a couple pounds. I could do it cheaper than this. I'd have to change the wheels out to something grippier. 
sell most 1200 bucks. I think for $1,200, I could probably do better than this. Half acre, nine inch cutting disc. Cuts up to a half an acre. Fully customizable. See, that's the thing, this is supposed to be away from big, it's supposed to be autonomous, blah, 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 blah. I want to, I want to actually hook it up to a remote and do my own perimeter wire. Oh, that's not cool. Why am I cutting my grass five days a week? That seems wasteful. Quality control through the app. You have an app for your freaking... No, I don't want that. Where's the cutter here? You see a cutter? Is it that thing? Share battery, save money. 20 volts. That's only 20 volts. I'm not a wannabe anything, but I used to get told that all the time. And when we were both in better shape, it was a compliment, but now we're both fat, so you know how that goes. And if he ever had my accent, he probably wouldn't have a career. But that's all right. Gotta know what to do. But no, there's no wannabe anything here. Got my spinach can over there, I'm good to go. Huh. 7S. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. I love my COVID hair. Someone asked me a day when the last time I had cut, and I'm like, February. Because I really don't feel like having someone cough on me. Not my, not my idea of a good time. All right, that's an expensive battery. What about some 18650s? I think, I think I could do better than this, or at least cheaper. It wouldn't be that hard. And see, so this one just uses two drive wheels and one float, two floaters. That's not that bad. A nine inch cutting disc. Mine would have 14 inches, so it'd be a little bit better there. There we go. Thank you. I don't consider my hair out of control. It's perfectly in control of wherever the heck it wants to go. I'm okay with that too. And I'm sorry, but I don't think they have 52 milliamp, 52 milliamp, 100 milliamp hour batteries yet. So probably a scam, scam, scam. If I end up with some ear stabbing, forgive me.
trying to get my windows open before the air came back on. Small amount ran out by a half a cup. Oh, it should do it. It should set up. I made sushi tonight for the first time ever. Um, it actually worked really well. I was surprised. Stupid air conditioning. There's just not that much I want to see anymore. Nobody likes the 4K run cam. Sold out, sold out. I say nobody likes it, but it's sold out, so it must be something for somebody. Flight controllers, what we got, what we got, what we got. Uh, try with. else it'll taste good. Uh, I don't know if you can save it with more sugar. Oh, that's nice. Less than eight bucks for 18,000 kV motors. Nice. I mean, there are 0802s, but Happy models, these are my favorites. There it is. Fear stabbing pain. I wonder why it does that. Try changing channels, see if that works. So if you hear an ear stabbing pain, let me know. Smaller plug for brushless motors. Oh, so you don't have to solder them in? I love it when Lowe's has, oh, it's GPS assisted. I wonder, if you put INAV on a lawnmower, you think it can find your area, maybe? This is 800 for a cutting, flawless cutting edge. I hate when people misuse replacing. You know, I have a Roomba. I wonder if I hook a Roomba onto my lawnmower if it can control it. That wouldn't be too hard. That is funny. It's... I don't know if it's the mic. Let's see, that's the thing. So I'm watching here. Let me, let me switch it back over. So this is my mic channel over here, uh, right here, and you can tell when I talk it's this one. And the one that glitches out is where I have my audio, which is this one. This one's my audio, and it, it's a random glitch out, and I don't know why. And it's never done it before. I've tested this like 20 times. I've been trying to set up because I want to get back into actual production again. 
And then literally tonight, whenever I was like, ooh, let me live stream because I haven't seen people in a while and I want to talk and, you know, look around and see what's going on in the world. And then poof. Oh, Harvester software is really cool. Big lawnmower. Yeah, I never thought about that either. See, and there it was. And you see, it was on this channel, this, this one, right here. And even if I turn the volume all the way down, whenever it goes, it will psh, all the way up to the top. So watch uh, channel five, three, audio, <laughs> channel three, five, audio four, whatever the heck that is. When it glitches again, it'll go all the way up, red line, and then there we go. If it glitches again, watch it not do it now. And that would be fine if it never does it again. But it's because I recorded the input. So it seems like I might not be able to record from the other program because it's a trial. But it's so random. Like it goes 20 or 30 loops, no problem. And then, psh, and literally today is the first day I've seen it do it. But thanks for helping me troubleshoot. No problem. I guess you could just get Harvester software. This is an $800 robot. The seven inch cutting blade that you have to replace once a year. That seems like a lot. Yeah, it's the, it's the actual track with the recording on it, which has never glitched in the entirety of entireties. Um, I tried muting my mic whenever I was doing this the first time. Way down. And it didn't, didn't seem to affect it at all. The other thing about it, I, I got a mixer. And I, don't, I, don't, I think I'm going to return it and get a different one. Yeah, I've, I'm just watching that single for that track to go. Oh, this is funny. I know you can't see other browsing pages. I have to show this one. thing I can barely hear the echo until I listen to my phone where I can really hear it. So I didn't mind the echo that much. How about that? Good low cut. Low cut, high cut? Okay. There it goes. That is so weird. I hate problems I can't replicate. Ooh, orchids. Orchids are cool. I've, uh, I've been doing a very tiny garden. A very, very tiny garden that's nothing but basil and peppers. And I've got five types of basil and peppers, actually. But I like it. Oh no, 
I'm gonna have to look in the logs on why this thing keeps glitching out. Call that a glitch modulation? Freak out. Frack out. Frack out. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. How to avoid crackles and audio dropouts. Oh, you know what? That might be why. Processor's not under any load, really. It's like three days. Hertz. Four percent. No drop frames. Five. Thirteen percent here and nine percent over there. So it's not. Are you sure it's a vegetable garden? That sounds more like a five leaf plant garden. Track freeze. That's mini. I haven't had anything mini. Oh well. Oh, you know what? It could be my ASIO. Alright, if I lose audio here, I'm sorry. Four bucks. Of right now I can't monitor anything so I can't hear anything at all uh, which is a little weird I feel like I'm out in the middle of an ocean now I don't see what I see there so I changed my I have an Ozio for all uh, which is not the best thing in the world 
games, but it's the only thing I could have that didn't make at least a good quarter of a second latency of my voice. And whenever I changed the kernel buffers, it made me lose. It always does that, like they're very finicky. It drives me insane. So then I have to like turn off everything. Hopefully I don't lose anyone here, but we'll see. I hear the music louder than you, yep. Trying again, and it could be that OBS is what's actually holding up my arm. But something locks it in place. Oh, you can't see the Aussie overall screen. Of course not. So you see Aussie overall, and I have a big axe by my speakers, so I can't see any. Hear anything rather. Doo -doo -doo. And I changed my buffer size up to 2000 for 512. And I changed my, yeah, there it is, kernel buffers up to 4. And that caused me to lose audio. Oh well, not a huge deal. the worst thing that happens today. It's been a pretty good day. And there's no way to just pull it. may have turned off my live- nope, didn't turn off my live stream, so that's good. Alright, well. Oh, it's still doing the glitchy stuff. It's doing a lot of glitchy stuff now, holy cow. Okay, that's bad, right? Oh, it's yeah. still doing the glitchy stuff. It's doing a lot of glitchy stuff now, holy cow. Okay, that's bad, right? Oh, yeah. It's going a lot of glitchy stuff. It's going a lot of glitchy stuff. Okay, that's bad, right? Oh, yeah. It's going a lot of glitchy stuff. It's going a lot of glitchy stuff. Okay, that's bad, right? Oh, yeah. It's going a lot of glitchy stuff. That's horrible. Okay, that's bad. Holy cow. It's going a lot of glitchy stuff. I don't know. Stop. That's horrible. Okay, that's bad. Oh, yeah. It's going a lot of glitchy stuff. Holy cow. I don't know. Stop. Stop. Holy cow! Oh my goodness! Has it stopped yet? Say, I can't hear it. That's my problem. So now I have audio capture. It says it's capturing. I don't know. I turned it all off. Capturing. I don't know. I turned it all off. Okay, Capturing. so I can just hear me right know. now, and I've got desktop audio. So I can turn off desktop audio. That was horrible. Hey, that's cool. Good ice cream setup is good. I'm gonna have to troubleshoot my Ableton. I think it has a some type of driver issue or something. Shoot. But I'm glad your your almond milk ice cream worked out. That's cool. Coolio. I like it when stuff works. That's not what I wanted. Where'd my browser go? Oh, that is my browser. Duh. Wait, that's not what it's supposed to show. Try this again. Nope. There we go. 
But I'm glad your ice cream's set up. That's cool. Oh, audio interface. I have that. CPU load's not that high. Hard disk. Triggering large, mo I'm not doing that. I don't know. Okay. Oh, well. I will troubleshoot it later. Thanks for... That was funny. Not funny. Oh, well. I will get it right one day. Brandon, until yesterday, so to, today and yesterday were the two days I've had in the past three or four months that weren't rainy. Um, today's not rainy, so today I was actually going to go out and fly and then I started working on my lawnmower. So, yeah, you know, that's just how it goes. But yeah, I, I haven't been able to fly since, um, actually since Beta Flight 4, 3, that one. I, 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 let's see, I loaded it on the two quads and I was going to fly the next day and we've had rain every day since. And with the days we didn't have rain, we had um, like 96 degrees or higher, which normally is not something I want to sit out in. And then the last two weeks, three weeks, two weeks, we had the RNC in Charlotte, uh, which I work uptown, so I had to work out of an alternate site because we couldn't really go uptown because Trump showed up on Monday, last Monday or the one before, the 24th, whatever Monday that was, and pretty much uh, wiped out my whole week of work. So to answer your question, no, I haven't been flying lately. But yeah, it's been like rainy, rainy. And I love ice cream makers. I think they're the best. I like ice cream makers. I like, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to show you. This this is going to get me banned. Um, this is just funny to me because I didn't expect it to work. So if you are bored because you can't go out to eat and you're like me and you like sushi, um, this kit or any of the kits that come that have this little sushi bazooka thing, I think I, I bought mine for about $12. But it has this little sushi bazooka, sushi, sushi bazooka, sushi bazooka. It works amazingly well. Like I was blown away. This this kit, uh, mine came with a knife instead of this little grater thing. Um, so it came with like a sharp knife that I used to cut jalapenos instead of that little box grater thing that I don't think anyone would use. Um, but really, like. It was so freaking good, and it makes these huge rolls, so you only need one per person. Um, I ended up doing tuna and cream cheese and a uh, wasabi mayo type thing. It was so good. So this this little thing, it opens up, it, it like it flips open, and you just pack rice into it, the um, sushi rice. You pack it in there, and then you, you there's a little rod at the end, and you press down so you can put filling in the middle. And then when you close it up, the sushi just or the rice just makes a big cylinder, and you tighten one in, and then you push it out, and it just squeezes out this big long log of rice onto the mat where you have your seaweed, and then you just roll it up. Um, it only does it's only good for those one roll, you know the the ones that are rice on the inside and one wrap of seaweed on the outside. 
um, sushi turd. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. It and it looks like that too. Whenever it just bleh, plop, <laughs> like it flops out, a sushi extruder. Um, and the thing is, it's total gimmick, one hundred percent gimmick, but it is so freaking easy that I. I was blown away because I've never made sushi before. I eat it all the freaking time when we can go out. I love it. Like, I pig the freak out on it. But that made, like, the rolls were tight, and it didn't fall apart, and I had good seaweed. I did not do the rice right because I, I never rinse my rice, and um, I didn't have the short grain, so I, I was like, I'll do long grain because it normally separates out. But if you rinse your rice a lot, because every sushi recipe says to rinse it and rinse it and rinse it, the rice I have, whenever I normally cook it, I, I get long grains of just good rice. And this time I rinsed it and, you know, until the water was clear. And then all the rice decided, you know, after 10 minutes, it was just going to become like glue, like this gloppy mess. Um, making sticky rice is a process. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I made long grain rice that I rinsed when I normally don't, and I don't think I'll ever rinse it again. Um, so either buy the real sushi rice or don't rinse your long grain. And um, I used a quarter of a, no, 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 no. I used two tablespoons of, of rice vinegar and two tablespoons of sugar, two, and one tablespoon of regular vinegar. Um, a white wine vinegar and salt and that actually made it taste really good but it was probably a little bit more than I needed for the I only made a cup of rice um, so next time I'll probably do one teaspoon of each or one tablespoon of each but it was it was good um, I was I was kind of blown away oh cow roast short grain that's a good one actually I know that um, I was using, I, I have this big, huge bulk thing of rice when COVID broke out. I bought, uh, as soon as it came back in stock, I grabbed one. And it's um, it's just long grain, though, so it's not the best for sushi. But normally I don't rinse it, and it, it makes these perfect rice grains. And in this case, I rinsed it, and it just fell apart, so I'm never rinsing it again. Uh, I've never made rice in a f pressure cooker, but that actually sounds, I have an instant pot. I might do that. That might be easy. That might, I might do that. Oh, well, that's the thing. So if you have the short grain, uh, if you have short grain rice, then yeah, you can rinse the heck out of it. No problem. But that long grain stuff I used, you can't rinse it. Like in the beginning anyway, you know, just to clean it. It was bad. Um... Yeah, no, I use I use rice wine vinegar and sugar mix with salt, like every recipe says. Um, and that, that's the thing; I have the perfect rice cooking method down, as long as I don't rinse my rice, or at least this particular version I have. Uh, is it even? I mean, it was so because it was just, it just turned into this glutinous mess. Um, on the other hand, it tasted good, so I can't you know like shoot. It, it, it worked. Like, I was blown away because I haven't had sushi in six or seven months, which is probably the longest time since I've been, since I was 28, that I haven't had it. Um, so, yeah. I'm kind of scared to turn this thing back on. Oh, I can't hear anyway, so it doesn't matter. Ha! Huh. Never mind. That's funny. I can't win today. GMO version. Uh, no. No, it's a regular. It's just, it was, holy cow. It was a long grain rice that um, I normally use it whenever I make like Chinese dishes. So like fried rice or something like that. It's just a long grain regular rice, not, not a sushi style. Say if you want to make sushi, you have to make rice or rice noodles for 15 years before you can be a uh, no BJ's. Uh, what do you call it? Big store, big box store. Uh, BJ's, a wholesale warehouse. That's the word. 
um, which they have sushi rice, so I'll probably pick some up because I won't make it that often. I'll probably make it like once a week or so, maybe, maybe once a month. I don't know. Uh, yes, you you generally have to practice things before you can do them in Japan. And if I have proven anything in my entire life, it's that um, you either go hard or go home. So do it or don't. There is no try. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never, I would never ever s like serve this to anybody else other than me and my wife. <laughs> like, there is no way. I wouldn't say it's. Mm -mm. Um, I will do cheesecake. I would serve to anybody. I, I'm, I'm a master cheesecake person, but not, not this. Um, I wouldn't serve this or my Thai food, which I, I love it. It tastes great. But I would never serve it to someone who knows what Thai food is, like ever, in the history of ever. Or my Indian food, actually. I would never. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have, James, I have 50 pounds of rice, 25 basmati, and 25 this long grain stuff. Um, the thing is, mine mine isn't even prep. Mine's just I saw it in at BJ's. It's on sale. Uh, it was twenty bucks, or eighteen, or fourteen, depends on which one. And I was like, "Ooh, I need rice!" So I picked up the biggest thing I could get. I have forty pounds of flour too, but that's more of w if you knew how much bread I make, it's crazy. Like, there's a reason I'm fat. <laughs> it's all bread all the time. And I'm okay with that. Like, shoot, why not? But I was, I was seriously impressed with this, uh, the sushi making kit. I was, I was kind of a little more, uh, more blown away than I thought I would be, because um, I was afraid I'd mess up the rolling thing. And it just, it kind of like lays it right out, and it's, it looks horrible whenever it comes out. I mean, it really does look like you know, your dog going outside for a walk. Oh, here it is. That's the one I got. Nope, that's not the one I got. But this one's only 15. Um, I should have another Amazon card, too. I ended up paying $3 after all these Amazon cards I get. Uh, I did use... I don't know which one I used. Yeah, this, this is how it works. Here's the video. Uh, if you can see it here, it should pop up. There it is. This is the video. You just push it in. You let everything down. You pop it over, you squeeze it, you cap it. You, that just tightens it up a good bit. You give it a good press. I didn't press that hard. Holy cow, that dude. Hey, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes, you guys see it. Like, look. <laughs> That's exactly the way it looked. He doesn't even use a mat. He just rolls it. Um, and that's, that's almost exactly how mine looked. Like, I was, I was impressed. Because it looks, it looks real, and it tasted good. I made, um, it was spicy tuna, and I put a little sliver of uh, jalapeno on top, because that's what they do at the store I go. And then sriracha on top of that, and then I did a ponzu sauce over it. It was good. You screw it. I love it. I'm laughing. I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever. Like, this looks stupid. This is one of those things. It looks, it's totally stupid. Completely, utterly stupid. Like, he just lays it right out, just... <laughs> and see, he uses the long one. I didn't have that much. So I'd, mine was only one seaweed, seaweed wrap. It, I turned mine sideways so I didn't have to have an overlap like that. Um, but it, that's the thing. The, the, for 15 bucks, man, I swear, I could probably... If I make rice again, I'll probably just make it like that because it was just so much more fun. So yeah, 15, even came with chopsticks. I mean, shoot, you can't go wrong. Mine came with chopsticks and a santuku knife, but the knife is so horrible. Um, so when you see them, you, you get different kits. Like this one, this is, oh, this is my kit, yeah. Uh, mine wasn't 21, though. But I, I got it because I thought, oh, that's a, one of those really sharp, that's kind of a razor knife. Um, it's a razor blade type, and it. Um, I was like, cool, and it's really sharp. Like that's really good. So, 
I have some, I have good knives. I have good Santoku knives, but I thought I would need something sharper for the seaweed to keep from breaking it. But they put holes in the knife, which are supposed to keep things from sticking, but it's horrible. Like it, it pulls the rice through with it. Um, so it's like, don't get one with a holy knife on it. Like it's, it's pretty bad. If it gets hard on us, smart to leave a little setback, not a huge prepper. My hope is in God. That's cool. Uh, Cause I've used the mat before. You gotta pack the rice by hand. Yep. Keep the sticky. Yeah. Oh, I did find out. So my rice with the sugar vinegar today. Um, I, they they say keep your fingers wet, and to me that worked great. Um, so all I really had to do. Oh, this one even got a coupon. All I really had to do was put some oil on the. I'm gonna call it sushi lube on the. That's just funny, the layer thing. I don't even know what you call that. Um, but yeah, you just have to, I just oiled it so the, the sushi roll would plop out just like it should. <laughs> I felt so cheap using it, I swear. Like, it, you, I just feel stupid for using it. But it worked so well, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm, I'm probably a lifer on it. It was so good. Um, and then I, uh, I did learn though that I can't. Um, my my soy sauce dish is too narrow for it, so I have to I have to use a different dish for soy sauce. And then I got wasabi paste, and I forgot how hot that was. So yeah, it was it was good, it was good. But anyway. I am going to get out of here and take my dogs outside and open my windows up because it's supposed to be 59 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, and that makes me so freaking happy. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, and thanks for, you know, the ear-stabbing stuff. I'm sorry about that with the Ableton. I don't know what's going on, so I'll troubleshoot it before I try again. And um, I'm pretty sure it's an Ableton because Reason didn't give me the problem. So... I'll troubleshoot that, and uh, yeah, did not have one of those solar water heaters, tried to cook rice in it. Oh, I can't do the rice in a wa solar heater thing. Like, mm -mm. I did find out if you take rice and um, literally do a one-to-one -one ratio instead of the one-to-two that they say, and use a candle, um, 20 minutes, it makes like the best rice ever, so I'm probably going to do that next time instead of the rinse method that I used this time. It was not good. But uh, anyway, y'all take care. Have a good night. I am uh, appreciate you s putting up with the ear bleeding with Ableton. Like I say, I will troubleshoot it. And um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get out of here, go take my dogs outside and wrap up. And yeah, y'all take it easy. Thanks for hanging out again. And we will talk to you later.